When LEGO Harry Potter made a comeback in 2018, LEGO started out by making years 1 and 2 wave. Since then, they've made sets from all the other years of Harry Potter. But I'm definitely glad that they did a rebound with the Sorcerer's Stone sets, otherwise they would not have been able to include the Fluffy Encounter, which is, of course, an iconic moment in Harry Potter. So today I'm going to be showing you this 2021 Fluffy Encounter set, so let's dive into it. This set used to be $40, but it sadly just retired very recently, but I bet you could still get it for a very good price if you got it now. Alright, let's start with the minifigures. It comes with Harry, and he's got a Gryffindor cloak on top of his Gryffindor uniform. And it's just the classic new Lego Harry Potter head and hair, and of course some short legs. Alright, then we've got Ron, and he's the only character in this set with an open cloak, but pretty much the same. And we have Hermione with the same torso as Harry. And finally, this was a 20th anniversary set, so of course it came with a 20th anniversary gold minifigure, and this set's minifigure was Hermione. The other thing these 2021 sets started introducing was the collectible wizard cards, and these are um, 16 mystery wizard cards that have different famous witches and wizards on them from Harry Potter, and... Um, they're just random which one comes in each set. And this one came with two. And, of course, the Fluffy encounter wouldn't be complete without Fluffy. Now, Fluffy is a three-headed dog with two expressions, angry and sleepy. Now, the way they do this is not swappable heads. Instead, they have varied expressions on each head. This one is fully angry, so you're seeing him from this angle. This one is right in the middle, so it can be either that or that, and this one is just pure sleepy. Fluffy also has posable legs, so he can lay down, sit, or do any trick that any normal dog could do. I really like the print on these heads. It was a pretty smart idea to do the double faces, and uh, these faces are very detailed. Alright, thanks to this awesome modular system since 2021, we can split apart the Hogwarts uh, Fluffy Encounter set itself into four rooms. So, the first room we're going to be talking about is the trapdoor room. So, this is the room that Fluffy goes into. This can come right off, and Fluffy can go in. This can come off for play uh, purposes and it can just come off uh, and then it goes on so that things can be built on top of it. It's got a little piece of meat here and the trap door, which can just swing open and shut, leading down into nothing until you put something underneath it. Next room is the harp room. It's just a random balcony room that looks really cool from both sides and it looks cool whether you put it on the top of your Hogwarts display, the bottom, or anywhere. It's got two torches there, and it's got this harp, which is the harp that's used to put Fluffy to sleep. And it's really cool that we get this sticker design on both sides, and the, the harp design itself is just pretty cool. Next, we have the Devil Snare Room, and on this side, it is just a um, rocky slope down and going up into the classic tan Hogwarts structure. And on this side we have a bone, we have some Devil's Snare in black, which is really cool. And a minifigure can fit right into it. So this room can be put uh, below the fluffy room and uh, then the trapdoor will open up and you'll fall right into here. And I'm going to show you my display at the end of the video. 
And the last room is pretty cool because it's like a spell practice tower. And it's one of those uh, sand green Hogwarts towers that uh, sand green that they started doing in 2021 when they stopped doing the gray towers. And on the inside, it's got a, uh, like a potion vial here, some kind of bottle here, a, uh, pot there, candle, and some cool stickers here. Admittedly, sometimes it is hard to find a place for another tower in your Hogwarts display, but it is a cool tower to have, and uh, you can use it. It's very useful because it keeps to itself. There's nothing like branching off, making uh, problems to put on to other things that are going to go higher. There's also this roof piece, which is pretty cool because it doesn't have anything over on this side, which means it just goes on top of a room like this and still enables play possibility. All right, time to put this all together. So I'm going to start with this dungeon, the Devil's Snare, and add in the balcony next to that, only for lack of another dungeon room. Sadly, Hogwarts does not make uh, a lot of dungeon rooms, so it kind of looks a bit mismatched. From the, uh, uh, from the other side, it'll look like this, which is actually pretty cool. Alright, and this is... Uh, these Hogwarts sets are perfect for stacking and putting together because they have these pieces that are loosely put on but tightly enough that it's not just going to fall off, um, but loosely enough that it can come off very easily. Alright, next I'm going to put on the fluffy room here on top. I've just got fluffy sleeping in there. And I'm going to put the harp back into this room. And finally, I'm going to put the spell tower up on top of here. Now, sadly, this set does not supply you with something to go there. But um, hopefully you get, like, the Chamber of Secrets or pretty much any other set, and you'll have something to put there, or you will just end up putting just another building on top of that. And from the outside, it looks like this, which is actually pretty cool. I hope you liked this set review. Please like and subscribe, and let me know what you want to see next. And I'll see you next time.